Okay, so we are wrapping up our prosthetic hands or bionic arms activity that we've been doing this morning. You guys use some pretty basic materials to actually construct a prosthetic hand that was able to pick up a styrofoam cup. Almost, I think all of us actually were successful in picking up the styrofoam cup. There were a couple that were even successful at picking up a paper or toilet paper roll, which was a smaller object. So you guys really had some good grip on that. All of your designs had things in common, obviously, because we use the same materials, but they all were very unique. And I'm so excited to be able to show the different unique um, ways that they work in just a moment. Something just to mention to you, and with Nancy's group, something that they did, their first two fingers were the ones that really did the work. In a prosthetic arm, the way a lot of the myoelectric arms and some of the new technology they have coming out, if you actually lose um, part of your forearm there, they can put sensors in there that pay attention to the muscle fibers in this part of your arm. And when your brain would tell your hand to open or to close, then that actually is what they're using, those sensors, to make your hand open and close. Now, it's not a complicated movement as far as it'll never, well, I don't say never, currently it does not um, have the capabilities to do this. So some of yours that you were having a hard time getting those extra fingers to come around, that's okay because actual prosthetic hands still operate on the same basic principle, that they have those two fingers and that thumb to be able to use that. And if growing up, I know growing up I knew um, a man who was a veteran that had a hook, you know, kind of the hook that collapses. Now they just look really fancy and have a plastic hand over them. And so uh, the basic part that still works is that it's that pinching action and then now it's just programmed that these two fingers will close with it so that they can get a grip on things. So you guys were not very far off from that. You did a great job. And so I just wanted to give you some background on that so you would know as well how that actually works. So we will now come around and actually take a look at your hands in action. All right, we tried um, individual fingers and we didn't have very much luck with our grip. So we went to a, th a three finger grip and we had a lot more control with a slight twist to grip. Okay, can you show what, how, what's that on the underneath? How does, how does that? Cardboard covered in sandpaper. I mean, is that right? Sandpaper. sandpaper. <laughs> so. Okay, for the, for the friction. Mm -hmm. Okay. We wanted our hand to closely resemble a real artificial hand, so we made ours with the five fingers that do move. It is fairly flexible. And by putting the rubber bands on the outside, we have the use of the fingers individually with different tensions for whatever we're trying to pick up. Did you experiment with different locations for the rubber bands, or does, is that where you We first did. Went? We first put the rubber bands within the straws, and we found out it didn't have the, the flexibility of pulling that we needed to make the individual digits work properly. We simplified, since our goal was simply to pick up the cup, we just used two fingers with flexibility. And it doesn't work as well with smaller items because we did adjust the fingers in their width based on Ooh. on the the cup's width. But Ooh. and so how did you you just have the string inside the straw? String and inside. We it we notched. Cup? You notched it. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Was this your first design? Yes. All right, so we wanted to make ours look as much like a hand as possible. And so, you know, you, when you look at your hand, you have the creases. So we try to make those creases, and then we taped pieces of straw on there and then threaded the string through it. So when you pull the string, it pulls down this, and then it pulls down that because it's, it's taped to that. And we, at first, didn't have three. We had to make the fingers longer so that they would bend more because it wasn't bending enough. And that's what we found out it was a lot better when you made it longer, you're able to pick up the cup easier. Okay, can we see it in action? Yes. Yeah. It was working. <laughs> that's okay. Oh. oh. We uh, have four fingers and one stationary thumb. The fingers are straws that are have a little 
cut in them to make them uh, move at an angle and the strings run through the straws. So you just kind of pull on the string and the fingers clamp shut. The thumb was the hardest thing to make work. Right, just need something to be able to pinch against. Mm -hmm. so yeah, that's how it works.